An equine melanoma is a tumor that results from the abnormal growth of melanocytes in horses. Unlike human melanomas, they are not thought to be caused by exposure to ultraviolet light. Melanomas are the third most common type of skin cancer in horses, with sarcoids being the first most prevalent and squamous cell carcinoma being second. They are typically rounded black nodules that vary in size and can usually be found underneath the dock of the tail, the anal, perianal and genital regions, perineum, lips, eyelids, and sometimes near the throat latch. These tumors can be either benign, meaning not cancerous, or malignant, meaning cancerous, while the benign tumors typically need little treatment to no treatment. The malignant tumors can cause serious problems and can potentially be life-threatening. Different methods are used to determine if the tumor is malignant and if it has spread to other organs. Methods used to determine malignancy include fine needle aspirate, biopsy, or complete removal. To determine if the tumor has metastasized, a rectal examination or an ultrasound can be performed. The most frequent location for metastases include the lymph nodes, spleen, liver, the abdominal wall, the lungs, and blood vessels. If the tumor becomes large enough, it can cause weight loss or colic. It may also affect the horse's ability to turn their head from side to side and eat and drink comfortably if the tumor is on the throat latch area, or cause fecal impaction if tumor is on the anal region. These tumors can also be a serious issue if they have metastasized or if they become large and ulcerate, bleed, then become infected. Melanoma in gray horses. Gray horses have a higher susceptibility to melanoma than any other coat color, with up to 80% of gray horses developing some kind of melanoma in their lifetime and some sources state that 66% of those melanomas will become malignant. The gray coat color comes from a gene that is responsible for the gradual depigmentation of the horse's coat. Horses with this gene are born darker and over time, they lose their coat pigmentation. The gray gene is the strongest coat modifier and will act on any base color. The gray coat color is the result of an autosomal dominant trait that is caused by a 4.6 kb duplication in the sixth intron of the gene SINTAXIN17. STX17. The region of this mutation contains four genes. NR4A3, nuclear receptor subfamily 4, group A, member 3, STX17, TXMDC4. Theorodoxin domain containing 4, and INVS. Inversin. To determine what makes gray horses more susceptible to melanomas, researchers have used different techniques such as the northern blot technique and real-time PCR. From these studies, it was concluded that the STX17 gene and the NR4A3 gene are both being overexpressed in gray horses which is responsible for the increased incidences of melanoma in horses with the gray gene. Types of melanoma. Not all melanoma tumors are the same. There are four different types of melanomas that can be found in horses. Melanocytic nevi. This type of tumor is found in younger horses, around five years of age, and are usually benign. They can develop on horses of any color as small less than 2.5 cm, single masses and can be found anywhere on the body. Dermal melanoma. These tumors are usually benign, but can become malignant over time. They vary in size, and can be found as singles and multiples. They are most commonly found in mature gray horses, less than 15 years old, and are typically found under the tail, around the anus and on the external genitalia, dermal melanomatosis. These tumors are frequently malignant and have a high tendency to spread to other organs. They are most commonly found in gray horses who are over the age of 15 and are found as a large, coalescing mass under the tail, around the anus, 
on the external genitalia, or the parotid salivary gland. Anaplastic melanoma. These tumors are malignant and frequently spread to other organs. They are rare. However, when they do occur, they are typically found in older, more than 20 years of age. Non-gray horses. Treatment. Since 80% of gray horses will develop a melanoma tumor at some point in their lives, it is important to know what kind of treatments are available. There are several treatment options when a horse is found to have a melanoma tumor including surgical or injections, surgical removal. The surgical removal of a melanoma tumor is performed when the tumors are small. This prevents the tumors from spreading to the surrounding areas. Intralesional cisplatin. Cisplatin is a chemotherapy drug that is injected into the tumor itself. This drug is commonly used along with surgical removal. That being said, this drug has been shown to resolve tumors with or without surgical removal for at least two years. Cimetidine. Cimetidine works by slowing tumor growth. It is a histamine blocker that maintains the body's immune response which aids in the killing of tumor cells. Cimetidine has not been proven to efficiently resolve tumors completely. Melanoma vaccine. A vaccine that is similar to the effective canine melanoma vaccine has been created for equine melanoma and is being studied at the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Florida.